Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, November 15th, 2019. This week how to recolor embellishments in Photoshop and Elements. One of my favorite things about digital scrapbooking is the ability to use my purchases over and over again. It is so great to own just the right ribbon or sticker set for a project and never have to worry about running out of it in the middle of a project. And what's more, you have the ability to recolor your purchases to customize them to whatever project you're creating. In this series of tips, we'll be demonstrating all of the many approaches to recoloring digital art. It's probably easier than you think. We'll start by learning how to recolor using the Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer Method. This method allows you to tweak colors without altering the original embellishment. It's a great way to recolor items like bows or flowers, frames or watercolor images. Here's how. In Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, begin by opening a piece of digital paper or a project that contains the color that you want to use. I've opened up this green paper and I'll be using this green color. Open one or more elements that you'd like to recolor to match the project that you're working on. So I've opened up a banner and a frame and a little butterfly. Get the eyedropper tool by pressing the letter I on the keyboard or choosing the eyedropper from the tools panel on the left side of the editing window. Click on the digital paper to pick up the color that you want to use. When you do that, you'll see that the foreground color chip at the bottom of the tools panel changes to the color that you clicked on. Next, click the embellishment window to make it active in the editing window. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this frame and make it the active window. In Photoshop Elements, you can double click the item in the photo bin to make it active. To change the color of the embellishment, click the Create a New Fill or Saturation Layer icon. It looks like a black and white circle at the bottom of the Layers panel in Photoshop. In Elements, it's at the top of the Layers panel. From the menu, choose Hue Saturation. And this causes the Hue Saturation dialog box to populate. Put a check in the Colorize box at the bottom of the screen. And also, click the Clipping Mask icon which looks like a square with a bent arrow. It's at the bottom of the box. This makes the changes apply only to the item that you're recoloring instead of affecting the entire page. That's especially important if there's more than one item on the page and you only want to recolor the one. Adjust the saturation and lightness sliders to achieve your desired color. I always start with the lightness slider and then if I have to, I'll tweak the saturation slider. You don't want to mess with the hue slider because that will change the color and you're trying to match that paper that you pulled up earlier. At this point, I like to get the paper and go ahead and drag it back onto the embellishment window so that I can check to make sure that I've got the colors matching the way I want to. If you find that you need to tweak the color of the embellishment, just go ahead and double click the thumbnail on the left side of the hue saturation layer and this will bring the hue saturation dialog box back up. At that point you can adjust the lightness or the saturation or do what you need to do to get it to match just the way you want it to. When you're happy with the color you can go ahead and delete or hide the paper layer. You can close out the hue saturation dialog box by clicking this little X in the top right corner. Once you've completed this step, it is super easy to recolor other items to match. So choose another item that you want to recolor. I'll click on the, this little December banner. Drag the hue saturation layer from your recolored element onto the new embellishment. So I'm gonna drag directly from the layers panel I'll drag that hue saturation layer over onto the December banner. It is seriously just that easy. And again, you can tweak the hue saturation if you want to by double clicking that little icon 
on the left side of the layer and bringing back up the hue saturation dialog. I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping mask by choosing this little icon because it got lost in when we moved the layer over. How crazy easy is that? Just by dragging the one layer you can recolor a whole bunch of items to match the color that you're working with. Now when you get ready to move one of these over onto your project, let's say we've got this green paper open and we want to move some one of these that we've recolored over. Make sure that when you click on the butterfly that you move both layers over at the same time. So you move both layers over and then make sure that the top one has a clipping mask attached so that it only affects the color of the butterfly and not the rest of the page. You can create a clipping mask by selecting that hue saturation layer and choosing layer create clipping mask or just press alt control G on the keyboard which is option command G on a Mac system. Whether you want to recolor a button a ribbon, beads, or foliage. This technique is so super quick and easy and it's a non-destructive way to coordinate the colors in your project. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.